Today we are going to study tachometer. Very good morning to all of you. What is tachometer? Tachometer is a device for indicating the angular speed of a rotating shaft. For measuring angular velocity, we use tachometer and this term is strictly used by mechanical and electrical engineering terms electrical and mechanical instruments that indicate instantaneous value of speed in revolutions per minute they are tachometer and the revolutions in a measured time interval and indicate only average values for the interval they are not tachometer here the tachometer indicate instantaneous value of speed in revolutions per minute rather than the devices those count the average values for the velocity now what are the features of tachometer the features of tachometer are it is an instrument which gives the speed of crankshaft or rest, reciprocating engine the other is which measures the rotation speed of shaft or disc as in motor or machine the instrument can either direct indicating or indirect indicating so tachometer um, a feature is either it can be direct indicating or indirect indicating the dial of tachometer is calibrated to provide measurement in rpm and it is used in reciprocating engines to monitor engine power and this is the uh, picture of a tachometer it looks like this type so uh, you have been very much usual to watch this type of tachometer in your automobile in your vehicle okay now what is mechanical tachometer if we want to classify the tachometer there are two types mechanical tachometer and electrical tachometer so let us have a look on mechanical tachometer first now the mechanical tachometer utilizes the fact that the centrifugal force on a rotating mass depends on the speed of rotation and can be used to compress the mechanical string uh, 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 it can be used to compress or stretch a mechanical spring so again repeating its principal operation is mechanical tachometers utilizes the centrifugal force the centrifugal force on a rotating mass which depends on the speed of rotation and can be used to stretch or compress a mechanical spring a resonance or vibrating reed tachometer uses a series of consecutively tuned reeds to determine engine speed by indicating the vibration frequency of the machine so as you know very well that whenever there is a rotating shaft there is a centrifugal force acting on it and the speed of rotation depends on that centrifugal force which can be used to stretch or compress a mechanical spring now have a look on the diagram of the mechanical tachometer here it is a flyweight type mechanical tachometer and in this type what we are watching that it is a flyweight in which a coil spring is inbuilt this is a drive shaft and this is a structure through which the reading can be displayed on the meter on a scale okay so all these are the mechanical arrangement that 
the mechanical students are all all are very much aware of these mechanical structure so if the drive shaft is having some rotation so due to that rotation this will this structure will rotate and if that will iterate the coil spring will rotate which will make the fly weight to rotate and this again will tend to rotate the rocking shaft and that uh, rocking shaft rotation will move this uh, rotatory motion in which the needle is attached so i think you will be very much aware of this mechanical structure and here it is used to measure the angular velocity of a vehicle as shown it uses coil spring drive shaft rocking shaft and fly wheel and here it works on the principle that the centrifugal force on rotating mass depends on the speed of rotation and it can be used to compress or stretch mechanical spring this mechanical spring can be stretched or compressed based on the rotation of the drive shaft and this uses the measurement of speed in rpm now another type is a revolution counter and timer type it is a type of mechanical tachometer now what is revolution counter and timer type in this uh, it is also known as speed counter in this it con consists of worm gear it consists of a worm gear which is also the shaft attachment and is driven by the speed source here is the diagram and in di this diagram this shaft is attached here okay shaft is attached here and this is the worm gear structure the cut weave is uh, shown here in the uh, open weave and dial on frame is attached with this worm gear these uh, this is the spur that connected with the dial on the frame and there is a locking arrangement for the handle okay so what it performs the worm drives the spur gear which in turn actuates the pointer on the calibrated dial so here you will watch that in this diagram the worm drives the spur gear which in turn actuates the pointer if Uh, this is the shaft attachment if there is a rotation in the shaft then this worm will move its direction and according to that this gear this gear structure will rotate and due to the rotation of this gear structure the dial will move on the frame so the pointer indicates the number of revolutions turned by the input shaft in a certain length of time by the movement of this worm gear at a certain a uh, length of time there is a change of one gear so it will give the number of revolutions turned by the input shaft in a certain length of time the unit requires a separate timer to measure the time interval and generally for uh, measurement of a uh, total time here a uh, timer structure is there it is a different uh, structure which is known as tachoscope so Uh, the tachoscope is used for measuring the counter and timer synchronously synchronously means if both are uh, uh, measured differently then this counter will count at a different time and the timer will start at a different time so for a synchronous mechanism the counter and timer are attached like this with the same shaft and the both will start at the same count same time okay so this can be used for uh, the synchronous measurement and this revolution counter will give a average rotational speed earlier what we have watched that were giving the instantaneous uh, measurement of angular velocity but this revolution counter and timer it gives the average rotational speed rather than the instantaneous rotational speed 
and it is designed for the measurement up to 2000 to 3000 rpm so just now we have watched both type type of measurement uh, measurement of angular velocity where it was giving the uh, measurement in instantaneous values terms and uh, revolution counter and timer type it gives the average speed of the uh, machine or shaft now the third type is slipping clutch tachometer and what is slipping clutch tachometer this is the rotating shaft drives an indicating shaft through a slipping clutch here this is the shaft which is rotating and it is connected with a slipping clutch inside it input shaft is there and there is a friction material so that slipping clutch can have a tight um, attachment with this shaft and this is a spiral spring and the other end of the shaft indicator shaft is indicating the measured value with the help of a scale and pointer so a pointer attached to the this one indicator shaft moves over a calibrated scale against the torque of a spring so this is the spring spiral spring which is providing the torque and the pointer position gives a measure of shaft speed so if the input shaft is rotating so what uh, slipping clutch will move its position towards the uh, spiral spring and due to the torque of the spiral spring the indicator shaft will move and due to the movement of indicator shaft there is a pointer which will turn its location and give reading on the scale so this is a type of slipping clutch tachometer so there were three types of mechanical tachometer just we have watched now what is the next one let us watch the disadvantages of mechanical tachometer what are the disadvantages let us have a look the disadvantages are the mechanical tachometer impose a load on the shaft to which they are connected and hence absorb power this is the first disadvantage um, this is the first criteria of measuring instrument that it should not absorb power but if we are using mechanical tachometer it absorb power and the second is that due to the inertia of mechanical parts the mechanical tachometer are not able to follow the variations in the speed if the speed is uh, increasing very fastly then due to the uh, inertia of the mechanical part at the same instant it will not able to give the uh, instantaneous value that's why average speed over a particular interval of time are preferred okay and the third is the mechanical tachometers normally use an arrangement wherein a counter is used for counting the number of events and a stopwatch for measurement of time and this will give the average value but this involves large errors especially when the stopwatch is operated manually so these were the disadvantages of the uh, mechanical tachometer and generally that's why the electrical tachometers are used and what are the electrical tachometers electrical tachometers use the electrical technology in which there are two types eddy current type or drag type which is widely used in automobile speedometer we will watch the electrical tachometer in detail later but just now let us watch the difference between uh, the electrical tachometer and mechanical tachometer so the difference between the electrical tachometer and mechanical tachometer are that the electrical tachometer provides greater accuracy electrical tachometer requires less maintenance and mechanical tachometer uses mechanical parts and electrical tachometer uses electrical parts these are the question that you have to prepare
good luck